Hey guys, BrickWizard59 here, and welcome back to a look at my brand new LEGO Star Wars mock. And this is my Imperial Fighter Tank. Now, this is of course based off the Republic Fighter Tank set, which was released back in the year 2008. And I had looked at that vehicle, and I've basically done is I have remade it, except in the form of the Empire. Now, this is actually a real model in universe, as this is actually seen in the Lego in the Star Wars Battlefront game, um, and that's where this uh, vehicle has originated. Sadly, it's not seen in any of the movies, and I'm not completely certain if it's canon, but I'm guessing it would definitely be a vehicle the Empire would use, definitely in its like transition stage between so between Revenge of the Sith and Rogue One. I'm guessing like when the real beginnings of the Empire, before they really um, created all their Star Destroyers and all their like vehicles, I'm guessing they would have definitely reused a few of the Republic vehicles until they were able to make um, unique vehicles of their own for the Empire, and this would definitely be one of them. Now this is once again a build, as I said, based on the Republic fighter tank from 2008. And basically what I've done is completely modified it, um, definitely changed out the colors, but not only that, I've also uh, modified the design, took a few parts out, replaced a few, um, definitely improved designs on a couple of the parts of the tank. And we're going to take a look at all of that right now. And before we get started, I just want to give credit to Eurobricks user Vinum. He also has an uh, Imperial fighter tank, and I did end up... Um, taking a couple of parts of his design and adding it into mine. Mainly, it is this front section here uh, with some of the dark bluish gray highlights here. Those were actually also seen in his model, so I did kind of use that a bit. Um, and same with uh, using uh, some of the design here on um, the sides. But anyways, now let's go ahead and get started and take a look at this model. All right, so to start off, let's go ahead and take a bit of a 360 spin here and take a look at this really awesome tank. So here's a look at the front. Definitely looks really cool, really menacing. Um, definitely um, a really um, imposing vehicle. Um, and once again, here's a look at in terms of the minifigure scale uh, with a regular trooper. So it's definitely quite large. Here we have a look now at the side of the vehicle. And you could see a better look um, at the side portions here, which do um, bend downward. And I think that just really gives it a nice look. Here is a look at the back. You could see this is the hatch, which uh, you can end up entering the vehicle from. And then here's a look oops, at the other side. Um, and again, it's exactly identical. And then we move back on to the front. Now, yes, as you could see, there are uh, transparent wheels which are on the bottom, and that really give it the um, movability. And I think it looks really nice. That's a, definitely an awesome feature. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. Take a look at the wings first off. All right, so let's go ahead and start off taking a look at the side, which are this section right here. Now, basically, the way I made this entire build, I wanted to have light bluish gray and dark bluish gray parts. But I didn't want to have too much dark bluish gray, as I did want to have it primarily be a light bluish gray colored uh, vehicle. And I think it looks pretty good. So we have a couple of um, highlights in dark bluish gray all throughout. Um, and this is pretty much what was seen in the exact set, except I just replaced the parts um, from, gre or from green, white, and red to uh, light bluish gray and dark bluish gray. Now, over here, this is actually a sticker from the Imperial um, Assault Carrier, which was a Star Wars Rebel set, and that, again, had a piece with this sticker, and that was the exact piece needed in this set, and I ended up adding it in because I thought that, can I just add a bit more detail? The actual 2008 set did have a sticker there, so I thought maybe why not add one in this as well, and I think that looks really good, just adds a bit more realism to it. Gives it a bit more of a official Lego set type of feel. Um, but anyways, as we move along um, here to the back, this is actually where our first play feature comes in. This was actually seen 
in the original set as well. But basically, you can just flip this section around here, and that actually reveals um, a section for um, your missiles. So I didn't put the missiles in, but it's just uh, flick fire missiles, and they just uh, fit in like so. And you know, you can flick them, um, but they're nicely um, concealed here in the very back. And I think that looks really nice. Now let's go ahead and spin it around um, and take a look at the other side section, uh, which is exactly identical except opposite. Same thing, this panel will flip around to reveal um, a flick fire missile. Um, but now let's go ahead and take a look at the main cockpit. Alright, so here we have a look at the main cockpit area. Now, of course, um, once again, there's a nice uh, bit of detailing here with the dark bluish gray and light bluish gray. And I think that looks really good. Added a few tiles to give it a bit more of a smoother look. And then here we have this section. Now, basically, what uh, you can do here is this piece just uh, pops open like so. And you have, if we take a better look in here, I'll go ahead and lift the model here, but you could see we have a small power generator there. And that is actually very easily removable, so I can also uh, use it as a storage for weapons. And of course, it just flips downward like so. And here's once again a better look at some of that detailing on the very front. Now, let's go ahead and take a look. Um, we have our interior inside over there. Now, before we get into that, I thought I'd just show you um, the top portion here. We have a swiveling uh, blaster here, and this one actually is um, exactly identical uh, to the one seen in the um, Imperial Hover Tank, which is this one. So it has the exact identical uh, weapon to the blaster seen on the side of the Hover Tank. So I kind of uh, wanted to model, um, have the Imperial uh, blasters kind of look very similar. Um, and then on the sides you have uh, two large cannons which move up and down. This was one of the parts I did end up also modifying from the original set. Looks a lot sleeker, a lot smaller, definitely looks a lot better. Um, and then again the other side has the exact same one. And then here's a look at the top. I'll let you go ahead and remove it. So the entire top is removable to give a look at the interior. And here's a look at the top. Um, a couple of antennas there. And now we'll take a look at the interior. Now, actually, there is a play feature um, having to do with this minifigure here. So I'll put it back on for a second. Um, but basically, what you can do here, as I'll pop him back inside. Now, this was something that was seen in the original set as well. But I just uh, opened the door here, and the minifigure pops out. And that was seen in the original set. I ended up keeping it. I thought that was a pretty fun play feature. Basically, how it works is I'll let you go ahead and remove the top here so you can get a look at it. But the chair here just goes up and down. It's connected with that rubber band. And if you look on the very back here, which is the uh, back hatch here, this opens up like so. And I also put another sticker there. But basically what we have it is when the chair moves down, that small peg goes underneath this piece here, putting it in the locked position. Then when I just uh, move the back hatch, the uh, minifigure pops out. And I think that looks really good. Now I'll give you a bit of a closer look at that um, design. And then there's a second minifigure there. And I'll actually remove him. He is also a Imperial Hover Tank pilot. And inside, what you can see is just a small control panel. It's a little dark. I know it's a bit tough to see. But there's a control panel and a lever. And then here's a better look at that mechanism. And there is a look at the interior. So not as much on the interior. Um, definitely, um, I had to make a choice with having a lot of interior space that could fit like three, four minifigures, but then sacrificing the play feature or keeping the play feature and only being able to fit two minifigures. And I decided to go ahead and just keep uh, the play feature. 
So this ended up coming off, and I'll put that back later. Um, but anyways, once again, there is a look at the tank. And one last f play feature I added. Now, because when I was building this, I was trying to make it as realistic to a LEGO official LEGO set as possible. I ended up adding spring-loaded shooters. I know, uh, not a huge fan of them. Uh, definitely in certain sets, they are quite exposed. Don't look that great. But I did end up adding it for this one. So basically, it is right over there. You can see the two spring-loaded shooters. So once again, same thing as always. Um, you just uh, fire them. And they fire. Uh, so you take a look at the other one here. So there you go. Those are a look at the spring-loaded shooters. Definitely uh, pretty straightforward, but it was a nicely concealed play feature, so I ended up adding it. Um, but there you go. So that's a look at the Imperial Fighter Tank. All right, but anyways, there's a look at the Imperial Fighter Tank. Now, thank you so much for watching this awesome LEGO custom mock review. Definitely, if you enjoyed it, a thumbs up would be great. And don't forget to check out some of my other customs on my custom Star Wars mocks playlist, which is, I believe, the third playlist on my uh, homepage. So definitely check it out. We got some awesome mocks, um, like my Jabba's Palace. I got my uh, Tatooine mock, which is like 27 base plates. My First Order Star Destroyer. So there are a lot of mocks. Definitely check those out. And stay tuned for my Imperial Army video coming very soon. And also a bit of a sneak peek of a mock I'm um, going to be working on in the next few months. That is the Defoliator Tank from Star Wars The Clone Wars. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming very soon. This is Brick Wizard 59 and I'll see you all next time.